Are you ready to uncover the local secrets about Philadelphia, Pennsylvania? Hold tight to your cheesesteaks because I'm about to give you the 15 insider tips that will make life in the Philly Metro even better. From hidden parks to hoagie heaven, after this video, you'll be blending in with the locals. And if you're thinking about moving here, check out my digits below. I like to talk about Philly openly and honestly. And for me, that means using some foul language once in a while. So if you are easily offended, you might wanna leave now. Just a fair warning. Get ready to dive headfirst into the 15 things you absolutely need to know when living in the land of cheesesteaks and brotherly love. It's time to uncover the local secrets that'll have you screaming, Philly, here I come! Now let's get down to the 15 things you need to know when living in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, the local secrets revealed. First up is our BYOB culture. The city of Philadelphia has its own unique bring your own bottle culture, particularly in our restaurant scene. This boozy dining culture arose from a combination of Pennsylvania's strict liquor control laws, our history of Quaker influences that discouraged the sale and consumption of booze. And over time, the BYOB culture in Philadelphia and its suburbs has become ingrained in the fabric of our dining establishments, creating a boozy adventure that attracts locals and tourists alike. It has contributed to Philly's reputation as a food destination, creating a dining experience that sets Philadelphia apart from other cities in the US. Just make sure you download those rideshare apps before you go out. Now I want your feedback about these videos. I might not give a shit what you have to say, but I still appreciate your perspective. My name is Dawn D'Amico and I'm a licensed realtor in Pennsylvania and in New Jersey. I have lived in the Philly Metro all my life and this video could be hours long if you want all the dirt about living in Philadelphia. So if you're considering a move here and you want more content like this to help you decide if this place is right for you, you might want to like, subscribe, comment, and share but that is your choice ask me your questions about living in the philadelphia area including new jersey and if you are making a move into or out of the area let's connect and see if working together makes sense and if not i've got lots of great agents all over the world i can connect you with the right agent in your market to suit your needs and my contact details are below next up number two wawa let me tell you about Wawa. If Wawa didn't exist, people in the Philly Metro would starve to death. Or maybe we wouldn't have a 30% obesity rate. I'm not sure which. Wawa is the favorite convenience store in the Philadelphia Metro. It will become your one-stop shop for gas, coffee, sandwiches, snacks, drinks, last minute dinner takeout, and anything else you could want or need. And it's open 24 hours a day. Seriously, Wawa is life here in the Philly Metro. To hell with Dunkin', Starbucks, and all those other bougie coffee shops you want to throw at me. Philly locals will tell you what's up. Wawa coffee is the best hands down. Now let's get into number three, the city of firsts. Philadelphia is like a hotbed of firsts. It's like Philadelphia was born with the I'm first mentality. We have America's first library. Philadelphia had the first hospital. Philadelphia's forward thinkers were so eager to fix people up, they didn't even wait for the invention of medicine. Just imagine a bunch of dudes in powdered wigs playing doctor with leeches and snake oil remedies. And we also boast the first stock exchange. Forget about Wall Street with its hookers and cocaine. Philly was like, we're turning capitalism into a sport. Can you picture a bunch of Philadelphians yelling and trading stocks like it's a football, like it's an Eagles football game? Buy low, sell high, E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles. And next up, number four, the Mummers Parade. The original OG drag queen performers, the mummers. <laughs> Just kidding, folks. Don't you get your panties twisted. The mummers do dress in sequence, makeup, feathers, fancy costumes, but most of them are married men with kids, and they are not grinding on each other's backsides. But you might find them grinding on a hoagie and a lager down on 2 Street after the parade, especially if they were part of the winning brigade. The mummers parade is held on New Year's Day, and it is a Philadelphia tradition like no other. Not only do these troops feature elaborate costumes, but there's music and performances too. So skip the binge drinking on New Year's Eve so you can get up early on New Year's Day and drag your ass down to Broad Street. Join us locals for the type of celebration that only happens in Philadelphia. Next up, number five, the Italian market. The oldest and largest continuously operating outdoor market in the United States is right here in Philadelphia. And it is the Italian market in South Philadelphia. Locals love the Italian market, and if you're not from around here, you might not know about it because we're greedy when it comes to keeping the best meats, fish, cheeses, fresh produce, and baked bread 
all to ourselves. But since you're lucky enough to be watching this video, now you know. So grab your stretchy pants, unleash your inner foodie, and venture into the Italian market. Because let's face it, when it comes to food, moderation is highly overrated. Manja, my friend. And number six, SEPTA. SEPTA stands for the Southeastern Pennsylvania Transportation Authority, and it is the primary public transportation system in the Philly metro. If you decide you want to live downtown and go car free, then you'll want to get familiar with SEPTA's routes and schedules to navigate the city. SEPTA connects with commuter rails in New Jersey and has a very extensive network into the suburbs too with its regional rail and bus lines. So if you suck at driving, do us all a favor and let someone else handle it. There are plenty of places here where you can live even without a car, even in the suburbs. We will explore those options in future videos. And there have been many times in my life where I had to rely on SEPTA to take my ass where I needed to go. Buses, trains, elevated trains, regional rail trains, the subway. I've been on them all. Embarking on a journey via SEPTA will be entertaining, to say the least. Number seven is gonna be the Philly Taco. The Philly Taco, also known as the South Street Challenge, is a Philly food challenge that involves wrapping a Jim's cheesesteak in a giant slice of pizza from Lorenzo's on South Street. Neither eatery serves this dish. Nope. So you'll need to hit up Jim's and Lorenzo's separately to make this Franken food mashup. But if you can stomach all this Philly food goodness, I've eaten a Jim's cheesesteak and a Lorenzo slice, but I don't think I've got what it takes to try and eat them both together. Sorry. And on a side note, Jim's steaks on South Street blows away Gino's and Pat's all day, every day. You can fight me on that one. Number eight is going to be foodie heaven. Philadelphia is heaven on earth for foodies. We are this city of immigrants, so whatever your cravings are, you will satisfy them here in Philadelphia. But you don't want to miss out on trying the local dishes that Philly itself has become known for. I'm talking about cheesesteaks, hoagies, soft pretzels, and scrapple. The steak and hoagie sandwiches originated in South Philly, where Italian immigrants made it their mission to serve up the best sandwiches and always trying to put a creative mix of meats, cheeses, and veggies between their buns. Soft pretzels and scrapple find their roots from German immigrants in the 17th and 18th century who brought with them their local food traditions. If you never had soft pretzels, well, I can tell you they are amazing. And these days we dip them in cheese, mustard, Nutella, anything your heart desires. That's why locals love soft pretzels because they are so versatile. And as for scrapple, well, folks, that's a meat product mostly served with breakfast that some locals love. I'll let the name scrapple speak for itself. All right, number nine underground tunnels. Creepy underground tunnels are not unique to the city of Philadelphia, but not many other cities have tunnels of such historical significance like Philly does. There are tunnels beneath City Hall, where you can just imagine politicians of the past scheming about how they're going to screw over their constituents. A secret lair where politicians and city officials held clandestine meetings. And lying beneath the oldest residential street in America, Elfris Alley, there is an underground museum that showcases what remains of previous buildings and gives us a glimpse into Philly's history and the lives of its early inhabitants. Now let's not forget about the Eastern State Penitentiary, a historic prison located in Philadelphia with an extensive network of tunnels underneath of it. The prison's tunnels were not only used to transport food and supplies, but also bodies of deceased inmates. The prison itself is considered a remarkable architectural and historical landmark that is a very popular tourist destination around Halloween with its spooky ghost tours. And next up, number 10, Spruce Street Harbor Park. Another Philly secret is the magical atmosphere created at our seasonal pop-up park located on the Delaware River called Spruce Street Harbor Park. This unique urban park on the waterfront features hammocks, floating gardens, food vendors, colorful lights, and a beer garden, and so much more. So embrace your inner sloth as you gently swing in the breeze, sipping a local beer, feeling the knots of stress slowly unravel. And all throughout summer months, community events at Spruce Street Harbor Park allow you to engage with other locals and meet new friends. Next up is Philly Art Scene. More vibrant than the gayest of gays at the Philly Pride Fest is the Philly art scene, and if you live here, you'll never run out of galleries and museums to visit. The Philadelphia Museum of Art, the Barnes Foundation, the Rodin Museum are all 
must-see destinations for art enthusiasts. And for the kids, we have the Please Touch Museum and the Franklin Institute. And for all you real weirdos out there, there's the Mutter Museum with its collection of anatomical and pathological specimens. Next up, number 12, Sports Fever. I'm pretty sure the whole world is aware that Philadelphia is a sports-loving city with fans who are extremely passionate about supporting their teams. Get caught up in the excitement by attending a Philadelphia football game with the Eagles, a baseball game with the Phillies, or a 76ers basketball game. Attend a game and join in the citywide therapy session where everyone gathers to yell, cry, laugh, scream, and celebrate. Even if you aren't big into sports like myself, you'll still find yourself cheering for the home team. Number 13, Hidden Parks. Philadelphia has many beautiful parks beyond the well-known ones like Fairmount Park and Rittenhouse Square. Philly is hiding some seriously awesome parks that are like hidden treasures waiting to be discovered. Forget about the well-known ones. We're talking about parks that will make you feel like you're in on, on the city's best kept secrets. Wissahickon Park, where Mother Nature decided to show off her landscaping skills. Then we have Sierra Green, Philadelphia's secret rooftop oasis with panoramic views of the city. It's a secret garden perched on the top of the world where you can bask in the sun, have a picnic, and pretend you're the king or queen of the skyscrapers. Let's not forget about Scoople Banks, a hidden gem along the river that offers stunning views and a tranquil escape from the chaos of city life. For number 14, we have the mural arts. Sure, you might find a lot of graffiti in Philly, on walls, fences, buildings, maybe even all over your very own vehicle. But what we're really renowned for is our vibrant street art scene. The mural arts program is here to prove that bigger is better. And it's not just a saying. They've taken the notion, go big or go home to heart, and they've slapped massive murals on every available surface. Walls, buildings, even fire hydrants. They've all become part of the artistic vision of Philadelphia's muralists. The mural arts program has transformed many neighborhoods with stunning murals. All you need to do to admire these incredible works of art is take a stroll through the streets of Philly, get some exercise, and get cultured all in one shot. And for number 15, we have the Elfrith Alley Museum. This place is so secretive, most Philadelphians never even heard of it. Elfrith Alley is the oldest residential street in the United States, dating back to the early 18th century. The museum showcases the history and preserved interiors of some of these historic buildings along the alley, giving you a glimpse into Philadelphia's colonial past. It's like stepping into a time machine and being transported back to a time when powdered wigs and petticoats were all the rage. This museum is your portal to the past. You'll be amazed by the wonders of 18th century living, like cramped little rooms, low ceilings, tiny little furniture that will make even Danny DeVito feel like a giant. And despite my smart-ass sense of humor, I absolutely love helping people like you find the right place for them right here in the Philly area. I'm Dawn D'Amico, and I'm a licensed realtor in Pennsylvania and New Jersey. And if you're looking to buy or sell in a different state, well, that sucks for you. But I can still answer all your burning real estate questions and refer you to a great agent in your market. If you have decided that your heart is set on living somewhere in the Philly metro, reach out to me below. I love hearing from people who want to live in one of the best metros in the country. And I'll see you in the next video.